today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruel TV YouTuber that's trying to be a long no buy. And today I'm going to do something that is that I don't usually do anymore. I tried to find when I did this the latest. I don't know when it was, but I'm going to do a favorite videos. Maybe I've done one that not long ago that I, that I didn't find in my on my channel, maybe, I don't know, but I have some favorites that I want to talk about and it's going to be equal parts like skincare and equal parts makeup and then I'm also going to talk about two products that I don't like and also like I'm not going to talk about an eyeshadow palette because I've used so many different eyeshadow palettes the latest weeks so yeah I think we just hop into this. And I thought that I could start with the skincare, and I do love skincare. I am. I want to do more videos about skincare, but I'm not that good when it comes to skincare. So, like, I don't know if I want to do like recommendations and if I am able to do like longer videos about it or more videos about it. But yeah. I have a dry to normal skin, the colder it gets outside the drier my skin gets and I am not like sensitive and I am 33 so remember that. But yeah I have some skincare that I have been loving so so much so I think I might going to scooch a little bit and I'm always trying to do to use vegan skincare. I think that all of these are vegan that I'm going to show you. I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure though. <laughs> but everything is cruelty free because yeah, I do have a cruelty free channel. We can start with this one. This is a tonic from Pixi. It's the retinoil tonic and I this is I think this is pretty like um, what is it even called like not that strong and I know that you are not supposed to use like acids and stuff in the summer because it makes your skin more sensitive to, to the sun I don't want to go into this but I use skin no <laughs> I use SPF every day and I work in an office with just a tiny little window and I am not out when the sun is out because we don't go together. Enough with that. But I've used this and I do really really love it. I love to have something with either retinoil or any acid that is going to make your skin a little bit clearer um, and not clear because I do not have problems with that but like something that's going to make your skin looks more bright maybe so I've been using this and I've had this for a long time in my cupboard and then I didn't use any other acids right now as I took this one and I used this in the morning and I think my skin looks really really good I have some it's in that time of the month uh, so I have two pimples here that are not that maybe you didn't even see them but other than that I think this works really really good it's not too strong when I started to use this I didn't use it every day uh, now I do and I do really like this I think it works good I think my skin looks really good the only thing is it's really really like yeah, it's like water and like this hole it comes up out really really much I try to take it on a cotton pad because I've tried to take it in my hands but it's it's coming too much and it just goes everywhere so I do like this I don't think though I would repurchase it maybe but yeah I do really really like it and I know that I've talked about this in another video I mentioned it at least and it's this one it's an SPF from Dr. Shergo with SPF, SPF 50 and I use this as my day cream and I love this. This is a Korean brand and if we say it like this, this, S S S 
skincare SPF that is made in Korea or in Asia, they are so much better than the ones we have in Sweden. The Swedish market is getting better and better, but like I have grown up with using SPF every damn summer and every time I have been in the sun I have used SPF and it has come a long way. But this one, this feels like a normal day cream. It's really like, it's like a gel maybe. And can you see this? It really likes getting into your skin good and it doesn't feel like sticky and it gives a really nice glow and I have been loving this and I will definitely buy this next summer as well. I don't think I need SPF 50 when it's not summer, but yeah, I've been loving this and I'm so happy that I bought this and it's just amazing. I didn't get any like, because sometimes when you change skincare, your skin can break out, but it didn't and it gives me enough moisture and I haven't burnt myself with this and you can reapply it very easy. It goes amazing under makeup, so yeah. I'm definitely buying this next year, next summer as well. I love this. Then I have a new night cream. Uh, this is from the Swedish brand Budgie, and this is an, and this is like a whipped face cream with avocado in and bakushon. I think it's called in English. And I use this at night, and it isn't sticky, but it's still gives me the moisture I need and I do like the texture of it because it's whipped so it's not that like hard and it smells a little bit of avocado and it smells fresh and I do really really like it. The first times that I used it I was like maybe it's not like super good but I do really like it and the thing I like the most is it's not that sticky because some night creams that I have have had are really sticky and then you're going to bed and I just don't like it but this one I do really like and then I have a new eye cream this is from the body shop this is oils of life and this is a pretty like yellow this one as well the one thing I don't like with this series it smells kind of much um, I don't like that but it is really good, it's more like a gel and it's a little bit cooling and I think it works really really good. I had the Ole Hendriksen before this, but I think I actually like this more. I don't know if it's lighting up or anything, but it feels good. My under eyes aren't dry, which they usually start to get like in September, October, so yeah, I do like this and I, I don't like though that you are, but I like them more in tubes. But I think this is really good. Then I have two last things for my lips and it's these two. We can start with the scrub maybe. This is from their body shop and I excuse the disgusting but this is like a lip scrub in a stick and I do like these the most and I think this is it's not too hard but it still does something. So these, this one I use at night and then I'm taking this from Kaleidos over it. This is the blue agave lip mask that Kaleidos came out with first. They have one red apple as well that I also have. And this I use at night and my lips aren't dry. Even though I had a cold, I still have a little of it left, but and I did sleep with my mouth open, you know, as you do when you can't breathe with your nose. And my lips wasn't dry the slightest. And I think it's because of this one. Because I use this every night and I do love it. It doesn't smell and it doesn't feel like too sticky. And I just love this. I think it works really, really good. And I'm so happy that I have another, the red apple one after this. Because... This is the best lip mask I've ever tried. I've tried a few, but this one is amazing. And that was all of the skincare. So now we can go into the makeup and I'm going to start with eyebrows. I think I've talked about this. This is NYX Control Freak 
and okay this looks disgusting but this is an eyebrow gel and this is and this is like the best I've ever tried I think this is my fourth tube over the years and I always want to try something new but when I buy this again I like yeah this is amazing so I really love this the only thing is I think it runs out pretty fast. I don't think that I have super much left in mine anymore. I do love this. I think it's one of the best things for my eyebrows. I do have really long eyebrow, eyebrow hairs and I want them to be in shape the whole day. And this keeps them in shape the whole day. Then if we're going to base, I want to talk about the Nabla Regeneration Concealer in Porcelain. The only thing I don't like about this, I talked about this, is this sponge thing. But I do really like it. It does look good underneath my eyes. It doesn't set in any lines. And yeah, the only thing is the applicator I don't like. But other than that, I do like it. It doesn't feel drying. And it just works really, really good. I don't know though if I would buy it again because I have another concealer that I really want to try. But I think this is good and I'm so happy that they came out with something that isn't a full coverage concealer. So yeah. Then another combo when it comes to my base is these two. I have had this for a long time. This is a primer oil from Beauty Act that is a Swedish brand and this is really like oily. I have had this for a long while and I did use this together with my Urban Decay Naked foundation. Then the foundations that I have after that, it hasn't worked with them at all. But now when I bought this one, the Fresh Nude foundation from Body Shop, the Fresh Nude foundation from Body Shop, it works really, really good together with this. So I take some of this on my hand and then I take two drops of this and it looks really really good because I thought this was a little bit too... I have my first impression, I did use it and get rid of me, I can leave it up here. I thought that this looked a little bit... Um, after a while it looked a little bit dry on me but not with this and I just love this combo. I think it's really really good, it looks really really good and this also makes... I don't think it's too high of coverage, but it was a little bit higher than I would want it. But together with this one, it makes it not the high coverage, and I just think it is amazing. Then the lipstick that I want to mention, this is Rapture from Lethal. This is one of my absolute favorite reds. Now it is just amazing. It is a darker red with a hint of... I think it's kind of purple undertone and I just love this and I've used it so so much and I do really love Lethal's formula when it comes to liquid lipsticks. It is kind of drying, um, for me it works really good and uh, it also, the, the thing that I really love, you can reapply this. So if you're going, I've been having this when we are have been out eating and it has disappeared and I just reapply this and it still looks amazing. So. I do really love that. And the last thing I want to talk about that I have, that I'm loving right now, it's a mascara. Um, I changed my mascara after four months and uh, even if it's not empty I do it because I don't want any problems with my eyes. And this one I bought in the beginning of the year and it is High Impact by Isadora which is a Swedish brand. and this isn't like my favorite kind of brushes it's a big and it's not a silicone brush but this is amazing i have it on today and i really think it gives me the length that i want and also enough of volume and i know this is not the new mascara but i i just love this i think this is becoming my new favorite mascara maybe on, of all times. I do think that one thing that is a little bit not sad with being cruelty free but like Maybelline and L'Oreal 
They do amazing mascaras because I have tested them before, but they aren't cruelty free. And that pisses me off. I do love this mascara that I had before, the NYX uh, Worth the Hype. But this one, it is so, so good. Even though the brush is big, I can work with it. And I just, I'm just amazed how good that mascara is. And I only bought it because it was cheap. And I was like, I need mascaras. It's cheaper here than in a normal store. So I bought it and I do love that I bought it. And I think I actually will buy it again. And that isn't a normal thing when it comes to mascaras with me. I usually buy one, use it, and then I try another one. But that one I do really, really love. And now I was thinking about talking about two products that doesn't work for me that I really, really hoped would work really good. The first one is the Glossier Future Dew. This is, you can use it on its own or you can use it as a um, primer. First of all, this smells awful. And I was like, maybe it's mine that's old because I have had it for a really long while, but um, I haven't opened it, so it shouldn't be that one. And then I went to Glossier's website and it was more people than me that thought the smell is... It just smells... I don't know if it's rose in it or something, but it smells awful. And it's, the smell stayed on my face and I was like, no, 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 no. I used it once and I can't stand the smell and it didn't. I thought that I was going to look so glowy and refresh, but I didn't. And it's just the smell. So bad. And the last thing. I have mentioned this so many times in videos and I... It's this one. This is an eyeshadow base that base from Gloss Gods that is a Swedish brand. I have it in the shade 4 that is, yeah, it's a white one. And I do not know. I have it on today. It looks really good today. I have had it on yesterday when I did use the Blush Tribe and I seen a 2 palette. It wasn't amazing. And I, I don't know. People do rave about this. Swedish makeup influencers rave about this product it's so sensitive if you get a little bit too little it doesn't work if you get a little bit too much it doesn't work it works amazing with shimmers shimmers my matte shadows they just crease if i get a tiny bit too much it's just a crease fest i got creases everywhere and my eyeshadow just disappears when i take the exact amount that is never the same it works perfect. Everything looks amazing. It stays on the whole day. But other days, after two hours, I have no eyeshadow left. And I don't know what it is with this. I'm still going to use it for YouTube because I I bought it and I want to use it. And I, it, sometimes it works perfect. And it works usually like for two hours. It looks really, really good. And that's like the amount I need maybe less as well if I'm filming. So I'm still going to use this up even though I don't love it. Some, a few times I have really been loving it, but it's nothing like if I'm going out to eat, this isn't the eyeshadow base that I want to use because I never know how it will look after two hours. So yeah, I don't know about this. I don't know if it's me that is the problem, but I have the strange thing with me. I do have had the Milani eyeshadow primer. I did love it. It was the best eyeshadow primer that I've ever tried. It was empty. And instead of buying the Milani, I bought this one. Why, you might ask? I have no idea. So I actually did buy a backup of the Milani eyeshadow primer that I will open when I really need my eyeshadow to be in place for a whole day. Because this one it can't be trusted. And yeah, that was all my favorites and two things that I haven't liked. It feels like this video was so long. Uh, I do really hope that you like this and I don't know what you feel about favorite videos. It doesn't feel like it is that popular anymore, like monthly favorite videos. I like though to watch them, um, even though I am on the no buy, but I do like to watch favorite videos and I do like when they are mixed with like skincare and makeup. So I hope 
that you've liked this video. So yeah, if you haven't, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!